The great save by Pumi Shiri, anticipated that well. How do we feel about competing in the first ever Nations Cup? Well, as a proceeding tournament to Pro League, I think there's a, a lot at stake and a lot on the line, but I think it's a really unique opportunity for the teams outside of the top 10 to be playing international hockey. For us as a group, we're very much in a developmental phase after the Commonwealth Games and World Cup. We've got a lot of young and exciting new talent in our team that I think will fare well with the experience of international hockey. So very excited to see how they get on at a Nations Cup and obviously very excited to be playing in Spain again. Uh, our objectives as a group, we recently got a new coach in Giles Bonnet and I think he's put together a really competitive program for South African women's hockey. It's great for us. Uh, we obviously needed more international hockey and we have that now. Um, our team is very different after the Commonwealth Games and World Cup and initially when we sat down and we looked at it we knew that those might not be the tournaments that we peak in but we had our sights set on Nations Cup. I definitely believe we can be competitive and uh, obviously our side is set on a top four finish in a semi-final. The teams that we'll be playing against we know really well. We recently played them all over the summer. Uh, our first game will be on the 11th of December at half past six against Japan. At uh, the World Cup we played them to a 3-3 draw. We started 3-0 down, we started really slowly and I think it was a really exciting game of hockey for, for the fans to be watching came back to a 3-3 draw. I think we let ourselves down. Um, we definitely had opportunities to win that game and I think we've gone back, we've debriefed. Uh, it's identified areas as a group that we've needed to improve on and I think it leaves us in good standing to have a really competitive Nations Cup. Um, the next team that we'll play is, is Chile. They're a really passionate team with a lot of players playing abroad. Um, yeah, I think we also played them at, a, at the World Cup and I think it's a fixture that we left a lot of art on the field on. So yeah, I think really excited to have that rematch and I think we're all very motivated to come up with the result. And then our final pool stage game will be against India. Um, that'll also be a really exciting opportunity for us. The last time we played them was at an Olympic Games, also in another nail-biting fixture and a fixture good for the fans. It was 1-1, 2-2, 3-3 um, and I think yeah, their program has really been accelerated after, after the Olympic Games. You can definitely see the European influence and in how they play now. A lot less individual play and a lot more uh, tactical combination play so I think it'll be really exciting for us as a group to compare where we have been coming off of the back end of Olympics and where we are going with a really new group so very excited about that I think yeah the toughest team that we will play if we do meet them will be Spain it's always difficult playing against the host but I think specifically Spain there's a lot of quality in that team it's a group that's been together for a very long time with uh, Adrian Locke who's been together with them for a very long time as well so yeah, I think the last time we played them was actually in Valencia in 2019 in an Olympic qualifier and a semi-final. So, yeah, uh, if we do meet them, I think it'll be a tough fixture, but one that I think we'll be ready for. Um, playing in Spain is obviously always great. We recently played in Barcelona and it was a beautiful uh, stadium, a, a great atmosphere. And I think that the crowd uh, was incredible, managed to fill stadiums, and I hope that Valencia will do the same. It's always great for us to be playing in a filled stadium. It really gives you that extra energy that you need, whether they are your home fans or not. So yeah, really excited to be playing in Spain. Really excited to see what Valencia will put on for us. And um, yeah, really excited to see what we'll do as a group. See you in December.